Hello there, welcome back to Code 4. In this video, we are going to be solving a simple Python question. Let's start. Given an array of integers, nums, and an integer target, return the indexes of two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order number such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. Okay, let's start with the nums which is the array. So nums is equal to, let's give it the values 2, 3, 4. So what they are asking in this question is to find if two numbers from this add up to the target. So for example, 2 and 4 could, uh, should add up to 6. We have to find and return their indexes. And one more important thing in Python is that in the lists, the first value is 0, indexed as 0. The second one is indexed as 1 and the third one is indexed as 2. As opposed to the normal way how we index this as 1, 2 and 3. In Python, it, this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. Now that's out of the way. Let's get into the coding part. So first, let's loop through all these values. So we'll have a random variable for, we'll name it x in nums, which is the name of the list. So for x in nums, this sentence would allow us to loop through two, three, and four. Every repetition, uh, for first repetition, it would be two, for the second, it would be three, and for the third, it would be four. Okay, now let's do the same for, uh, let's do the same with another variable for y in nums. We're doing this because we are going to have to take two values and compare. So the first x would have some value and the y would have some value. For example, during the first loop of x, 2 would be the value. And after going in here, during the first loop of y, 2 would be the value. And doing uh, so, 2 and 2 would be compared. And the second time, when the y runs again, the x would be the same 2 and the y would become 3. So 2 and 3 would be compared and checked if it's added. That's why we're doing this method. Doing this would help, uh, would make sure that all of the values are compared with all others. And now let's get into the condition part. If x plus y is equal to target, exact target, exactly what we uh, was told before, and and x is not equal to y. Why are we doing that? That is because they've said you may not use the same element twice. That's why we are making sure x is not equal to y. See, this condition may be true. 3 plus 3 is 6, but we should not return those since it only has one answer. So this, this condition would eliminate the possibility of 3 plus 3 being the answer. Okay. Now, to find the indexes of the correct ones. So now we have sorted the 2 and 4. Uh, 2 and 4 add up to give 6 they are different numbers but we'll have to take the indexes so for example x contains 4 and y contains um, 2 they add up to give 6 so there's a function called index which is built in for all the arrays so list dot index this is a built-in function and the index of x comma list oh uh, my bad the array is called nums, nums dot index of y. So we can save it as hmm, index one comma index two. Index is written in short for end. Okay. We are storing the num, the index of x in index one and the index of y in index two. Now, and the other part is when the loop is going through, it would produce two answers, which is two and four as one and four and two as one. But we know they are the same thing and they have given, uh, you can return it in any order. So we can, when we print it out of the loop, out of the loop, we won't have two printed answers. We would have only one, which is four and two. And since four is in the third spot, according to the PyCon convention, it would be uh, second two and the, the two would be two is in the first spot, so it would be zero. Let's try printing it. Print in one, comma, 
and 2. Now let's try running this. Yes, so we have got 2 and 0. So the this is the 0th index, the first index and the uh, second index. So the second index 4 is added to the 0th index which is 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. So that's all there is in this question. Uh, hope I have explained it clearly and thank you. See you in the next one.